If done correctly, the PNG economy will experience growth in the sustainable agricultural sector in the next 10 years. Trade, Commerce and Industry Minister Richard Maru, the Yanguru Saucia MP, explained the government's intentions when taking LR Group CEO Ilan Weish on a tour of the Sipic Plain. Whoever wants to cattle, you stay in the zone. Whoever wants to do rice, you stay in the zone. Whoever wants to pump, you go to the zone. There's enough land for everybody. The Yanguru Saucia District Authority, with 100 million kina funding from the national government, is building road infrastructures, putting electricity, improving health and education, including police stations to make the district conducive for foreign investors. The Sipic Plain is also being freed up in a special economic zone to start agricultural developments that will include over three investors in different areas of the agricultural sector. The district has already attracted foreign interests. On the business model, once you get, chicken is relatively fast to get going, so you get the revenues uh, coming in within a relatively short time. The LR Group CEO, Ian Weish, addressed a crowd of over 2,000 people at the Yanguru station during the country's first district SME day, explaining what the company can bring to the people. We will, on, we will not only grow the feed in our project, this is something we're already doing in PNG, you will be able to grow the feed for the project. The biggest challenge still remains how the people will get involved and create wealth. They've been told that they will have access to subsidized bank loans to start their own business and 20,000 of them will be employed in one of the projects. Free education and health means every child will have equal opportunity to take part in the country's development aspirations. Now, it's a complex journey that hinges on how hard people can work to have a slice of the economy and the foreign investors who have the expertise and technology to create a sustainable economic growth. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News.